They do not look friendly. Perfect landing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Age of Wonders. Planet fall. I am Neonarmite and today I will be killing Xenos and making new colonies upon the stars. First obviously we have to put the disclaimer, the key have been provided by the developers which I am very very grateful for because Age of Wonder was a game that I used to play as a kid. This is basically the fourth game in the franchise after uh, Age of Wonders 1, 2 and 3. Now we move to the stars, because unlike the previous games, the previous games were basically set in a fantasy world. So, you know, elves, dwarves, orcs, stuff like that. This time we're going into space. This time we'll be losing rifles. This time we'll have to face the void, apparently. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna see. Keep in mind that this is the pre-release version of uh, Planetfall, which means that some things can still change after the actual release. If you want to try the game yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below as always, so go ahead, give it a try, because if you're wondering, is this still the good old Age of Wonders? Yes. Yes it is. How do I know? Because I've played the tutorial and I have more or less an idea how to play it and, you know, I feel like a kid. I feel like a kid, you know, moving units around, building cities and still did not have a damn idea how to properly play the game. The currents of the void shift around me. Follow my voice, my last possession. My name was Empress Carmenia, and I was the last regent of the Star Union. We built a paradise on a thousand planets, a glistening web strung between the stars, but the cataclysm shattered all leaving our people stranded and alien to one another. Whoever you are, whatever you have become, it is time to leave this dark age behind and return to the worlds of your ancestors. Uncover our secrets, but heed our mistakes. Forge a new empire, a new age of wonders. Oh, I will! No problem with that department, boy! <laughs> so, just so you know, I did the tutorial, by the way. Uh, the tutorial did not actually give you like a perspective over the story of the campaign. So, I'm just gonna keep it short. I'm not gonna play for the tutorial because I think this is a waste of time since the... Uh, it's basically a tutorial, so you get like a lot of information how to play the game, but I think we can just go with it on the fly. So, the thing is was that... Uh, the humans tried to establish new colonies, the colonies got overrun by gigantic grasshoppers and I'm oversized, I'm talking cars size and, and after dealing with the menace, a gravity disturption has hit, void disturption has hit, a purple wave of energy went through the planet and everything and everyone shit themselves. So we grabbed what we could and we ran the hell out of there and apparently now the faster than light systems of our ships is damaged, so we had to go into cryo. And this is basically how mission first for the Vanguard starts. Now, at the moment I can see that there are three different fractions. So we have the Vanguard, which is basically humans. Then you have the Key Crow, if that's how I'm supposed to pronounce this thing. And then you have the Davar. Obviously, every single fraction plays differently. So if you're gonna begin the game, you're gonna have like a basic information of uh, what's the difference between each of the uh, civilizations that you can control. The Vanguard is basically, well, I would say normal humans. They deal though with Void Tech. Void Tech basically allows you for teleportation. I would guess that this uh, civilization is uh, responsible for fast movement around the battlefield. Then you have the Cario, which apparently can summon the beings from the dark matter, you know, using some dark psychic powers whatever thing and the davar can actually just burn everything around they create weapons of mass destruction okay guys without further ado let's begin mission one leave six after 200 years of cryosleep the vanguard faced a catastrophic homecoming commander's personal record vanguard expeditionary forces cryosleep cycle completed no casualties time since launch 197 years we're finally back. After a storm destroyed our hyperspace passage, we had to take the long way around. Most of us joined the Vanguard to escape our past. Two centuries should be enough to give everybody a clean slate. Hmm, you think so? <laughs> Time to contact Vanguard Central Command. We're heading for Leave 6. 
the military transit hub in this section of the borderlands. The crew is already speculating about visiting the Elysium parks. Gambling, booze, and promiscuous androids. Oh well. After two centuries of sleep, it's time I just want to point out that this guy looks like a bloody ass badass. I mean, look at him! Scars on his face, this gigantic, thick coat, the armor, you know? Like, he resembles the guy from Fallout 4, the, the one that was actually leading the Brotherhood of Steel. But this guy actually has some balls! Something is wrong. We have reached the Leave 6 star system, but instead of orbital patrol, there was only scattered wreckage awaiting our arrival. While searching for survivors, we spotted a ship of unknown configuration. Entering the planet's atmosphere, it ignored our hails. Residual void interference prevents us from scanning the surface. Yeah, that only means that sh shit has hit the fan. Let's go, boys. Planet fall. The Elysium Parks must wait. We have a new mission. We need to assess the strategic situation on Leave 6. Contact Vanguard Central Command and help them clean up this mess. Prepare for planet fall, for the Vanguard, and for the Union. Okay, that was a bit of a out of the character, you know, who should be like, for the Vanguard, for the Union. So, something like that, I guess. Uh, what size? Tiny, landmass, uh, landmass type land, water 2%, land 98%. Find what happened to the planet, find the alien ship. Let's go. Here we go, boys! Initiate landing! <laughs> oh, oh, I could already see somebody around. They do not look friendly. Perfect landing. All right. With the base camp set, we are ready to march out. Down here is the same desolate image as an orbit. It's desert and charred ruins. The tropical paradise Vanguard Center created for the soldiers gone to hell. Someone has been fighting a war here. The question is who and when. So far, none of the standing frequencies call has been answered. If there are any survivors, they either cut off their communications or are willing to talk. Time to search the old-fashioned way, with our laser rifles ready. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Lieutenant Jank, your little friend is making himself comfortable with the rotten place. Yes, sir, but it is not a surprise. My brother used to be stationed at one of the Leave 6 repair stations. This is where we assembled Tapeless. We must be feeling he's close to... Close to his... Hey, Tapeless, what you think you're doing? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the robot slips through one of the uh, still unfinished sectors of the camp wall. He dashes straight into the desert. Great. Search for survivors. Send out you... Uh, OWL scout to look for any Star Union presence in the vicinity. Right. Not all armies on the strategic map are hostile to you. Only when an army banner is showing a skull, you should be careful to interact with it. Find the alien ship. Found it. Here. <laughs> uh, find out where Lieutenant Jank's pet PUG has run, run off to. Hmm, okay. This is an advanced quest. Make sure to bring an army when you move to the target location. Alright. So let's see what we're dealing here with. We have something over here. Oh, great! Giant grasshoppers. This is exactly the thing I needed. And some... Lava monsters? Okay, that's... That's... That's a... That's a vanguard unit. So why they are hostile? They should not be hostile to me. Okay. So we got like a little scouting unit over here. Then you have like a full squad over here. Right, and we are literally in the corner of the map. Yeah, so if you guys have ever played Age of Wonders, you probably feel already familiar. This is like a combination of civilization and I would say a little tiny bit of different combat. Uh, basically, be basically because when it comes to combat in civilization games, you have all of your units in a map like this, right? So each one of the units is like an actual, let's say, squad that you need to command. Here is a bit different. Here, the squads are actually made out of units. And later on, when actual combat begins, the map changes and the actual gameplay changes into something that's, let's say, uh, on the biggest scale, maybe, you know, the tactical combat games. Imagine like XCOM type of uh, combat, where you actually can take cover, uh, you can use different abilities of the units. Actual losing a unit could hurt you sometimes. Right, so what's this? Okay, there's something over there. Imperial production stash pickup. Hmm, okay. So you can pick that thing up. There is port 6 and apparently there are some hostile units over there. Okay. 
Right, force detected, and there's something over here as well. Okay, right. So I think we're gonna first secure the our rear, and then we're gonna see what else we could try to do over here. I kind of like hope that those units won't try to attack me. I don't know. We're gonna see. So for the time being, I'm gonna send my squad over here to investigate this thing, and we're gonna see how's it gonna go. In the meantime, let's see. Can I build something interesting? Uh, right. We could try to focus first things first, though, when it comes to building uh, in this game. You can build like a primary structure and this primary structure will determine on what the colony is actually focusing on right later on you can uh, annex the adjusted tiles the adjusted territories uh, to benefit the colony or the city even more so this is a bit different when it comes from civilization because in civilization you can build cities whatever you want it's depending on more of a like is it worth it to build a city over here this game is a bit different you actually have sectors so you can only build cities in certain sectors right but then again i would say that defending is a bit of a more tactical view because like once you build the city or a uh, forward base then you take over the control of the sector itself right so you have like a bigger control uh, okay <laughs> look like a little robot friend has found himself some company through wait a second aren't those road swapper units patrolling the streets i may not be an expert on maintenance robots but the last time I've checked it, they didn't require any laser guns to their cleanup. Troops! Hygiene must have really dropped it since we've left. Huh, <laughs> good one, Commander. I thought I'd doubt this place has seen any visitors that would appreciate a clean walkway in a quiet while. Looks completely deserted. Agreed. Either way, I suggest we interrupt this particular mopping up before a little pet gets blown up to pieces. Alright, so we got to clear up the spaceport. Right, that should not be that hard. Okay, and I can get those resources or I can try to sell it for energy. Energy is basically the currency you use in the game. So this thing is used to buy units, it's used for upkeeping and stuff like that. Later on you have uh, the Cosmite, which is basically like this elite resource that is used to produce elite stuff or get you proper equipment. Then you have the knowledge and then you have influence. Influence is of course used to... Um, to make like this top of a line movement around you'll see very soon what i'm talking about right so i think i'm gonna take this thing this is gonna give me research and it's gonna give me some production points take the reward now let's see um okay i don't know what i should try to focus this colony on making this making this thing a food production center is a terrible idea there is literally no food benefit out of this thing hmm we could try to go with the replicate station and that would benefit my production but it's gonna take ages to grow civilians the actual maximum amount we have is 16 people in this colony at the moment we have three oh i could order the people to actually focus on okay i think i'm gonna order them to focus for the time being on getting food but i think i'm gonna focus hold on a second what are the adjusted sectors okay this gives me knowledge and I think this thing also gives me knowledge. Yeah, this is also a knowledge. So we can adjust those, annex those two sectors to the uh, to the main colony. And that thing is going to give me basically knowledge points. This is... Okay, this is a sector. I cannot build a city over here. Because you cannot build cities in a sector that is adjusted to another city. Like, if I have a city over here, like an actual colony... Then that means that the surrounding sectors are saved from anybody building an actual city over there. So let's say there'll be like another sector over here with different borders. So they can build a city over here, but they cannot build a city here or here. I think, yeah, they cannot build because there's a border over here, despite the mountains. Also, I want to point out, this game is fucking pretty. I did what I could. End the turn. All right, my new and some movement. Turn two. Okay, none of the natural units have moved, which is really good, I guess. But I have left one unit over here just to secure the colony. Okay, let's see. Port 6, Landmark. Unowned. Landmark is advanced production sector that gives the following uh, when annexed. It gives me protection, it gives me shitloads of energy. Uh, and allows me to unlock spaceport maintenance building. Okay, enter this. Yeah, we are dealing with some robots over here. Tier 2, Specialists, and Skirmission. Okay. Manual combat, ladies and gentlemen. 
let's mop up those flying toasters. Welcome to Combat of Age of Wonders. So if you played the previous games, you this probably looks very familiar to you, like no surprise. For those of you who have never played Age of Wonders, this... What the heck is doing? Advanced targeting. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay. So, as I was saying, the combat with this reminds me of XCOM. So, basically, you see all of those items over here, all of this cover? Yes, you can use this thing. Uh, you have different abilities for your units, and so on and so forth. Right, so... This guy is apparently charging at me. Uh, then we have those guys over here who are apparently waiting for me. And then we have this guy who is a support unit, so that means he does not attack, but he's really a fucking annoying. This port was devastated, holy shit. Okay. Um, I don't feel I want to stand next to this fuel tank over here, you know? So, okay, this is like a good place to take cover. Right, so you guys will go here, and since I'm playing as the Vanguard unit, the Vanguard fraction, they have this special ability called uh, Overwatch. Like, if you played other tactical games, you probably are familiar with this term, which means that if something is gonna get within their range, they're gonna just basically shoot that thing. Okay, standing next to this thing is probably a terrible idea. So try to find some cover. I'm gonna put my commander... Okay, gonna put the commander over here. He's, he's like a healthy boy, he can survive this. Right, what about you guys? Okay, you can go over here. I really hope that this is like far enough. Maybe I should just try to shoot this thing and, you know, blow it up. On my own terms. I don't know, hard to say. Right, then we have this uh, advanced vehicle unit, assault bike. He's like really good. Hmm. Okay, you guys go over here. Right, and you're gonna stay there. If you're gonna move units like on those arrows, they're gonna basically fall back. Right, I could try to go around and maybe shoot this guy from range. Hmm. Okay, for now, we'll go over here. And I want you to stay here. Okay. End the turn, and let's see what the enemy will do. Those guys are going forward. That's it? Hmm, interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna blow up this thing. Just for good reasons. Because, uh, yeah. This obstacle will explode, will take damage at the start of each turn, exploding when destroyed. I don't know what's the range of this thing, but they really prefer not to walk next to this thing when the enemy could actually shoot it by mistake. So let's deal with this, and after that we're gonna move forward. There we go! Okay, obstacle removed. Now we have a clear passage to go. I'm not gonna move though without all of my squads ready. Uh, Overwatch? Okay, end the turn. What the heck? Oh, seriously, you can heal your units. Ooh. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, how many hit points does this thing has, actually? What's this? Bomb. He can... Aha, he can explode in adjusted tiles, so don't allow him to get too close. Hyper armor. Tactical face. <laughs> the force fee applied contact explosive is a highly efficient method of craft control. Okay, so he can probably explode. Those guys... Okay, so you have a defensive turret. And this guy... Right, you have... Repairs. Okay, I probably have to take you out very soon. I decided to move it to the side because there are like too many... Uh, like, explosives devices over here. Right, you guys move around. Uh, and those guys have adjusted and they are moving towards me, which is... Not exactly very good. Right, I'm gonna hide this guy over here. And once they're gonna be engaged with my troops, I'm gonna move him out and help out. Right, Overwatch ability for you. Okay, they are getting closer. Hmm, if I'm gonna stand here, he's gonna definitely attack me. Okay, you go here. And you're gonna do Overwatch. Like such. Okay, you guys, get over here. You're gonna help with flanking around, so we're gonna basically cluster them together. Haha! <laughs> Glorious plan, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Keep healing you. Keep wasting your abilities. Keep wasting the special abilities. The good abilities. Very good, very good, very good. I'm just gonna keep moving around. And also I have like a tons of things over here to hide. And he is basically open for me, so. <laughs> good luck with that, boy. I'm gonna teach you the art of combat, you pathetic lying toaster. Any moving closer? 
Yep, they are almost there. Okay, so the Eruchi is standing outside of my border, and I think this guy is going Overwatch. He's doing something, that's for sure. This guy's behind cover. This guy's without cover. Good. So. Okay, if I'm gonna move here, I should technically be safe, though this is only half cover. Hmm. Okay, I could try to move my vehicle over here. But I think I'm gonna wait for the troops to get into position. Uh, I can move here to also get some coverage, but that's gonna be only half a coverage. Yeah, all of this thing is half a coverage. Okay, get over here. Right, perform overwatch. You guys. Okay, the commander is blocking your way, so... The commander is, like, really tanky, so he can take it, even they're gonna shoot at him. Overwatch. Now, this squad, you need to move... Okay, you're gonna be protected by the debris from that side when they are standing, so... If they're gonna try to attack you, then you should be safe either way. You guys... Uh... Okay, you go over here. If they attack you from the right side, then you're gonna be screwed. If they're gonna attack you from the from the uh, from up forward, then you should be safe either way. Okay, let's move the bike as well. There we go. He doesn't have Overwatch ability, sadly. And then move the troops over here. I could try to move them forward, but this is completely useless. So just do Overwatch. Okay, skip. Let's see what the enemy will do. Hey, good luck with that thing. Ouch, ouch. Son of a bitch. Uh-oh. My commander is taking a lot of damage. <laughs> and here comes the big boy. Uh-oh. Right. He went inside of the overwatch. So he's fucked. Okay, good. Now, let's see. You should be safe if you're gonna go here. So shoot at him. Very good. And he's gonna try to attack those guys. Either he's coming close to explode, or I don't know what he's trying to do. Just in case, move the squad back, and you're gonna attack him behind this cover over here. Shoot him in the face. Okay, good, that's working. Uh, you know what, I think I could just keep moving back. Hmm, not sure. Or I can just try to rush in and blow them the smithereens, that could also work. 45 HP, how much my commander has? 60. And he lost almost half of the HP. Okay. That's not really good. If you think about that. Hmm. I need to like dive in and do damage to those guys. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What to do, what to do, what to do? Okay, I could try to... Yeah, definitely we need to move away. I think this guy is actually gonna try to run my position and blow up. I wonder, can I still attack him? Okay, I cannot attack him from here, but I can attack him from here. So you guys go back. And just shoot him. There you go. Good, good, good. Okay, gonna move the commander back as well. You can attack from here. So go here, and you're just gonna shoot... <laughs> this guy is wounded. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, commander. Oh no. Okay, you go here, and you're gonna do overwatch, because this guy would probably would like to move forward. Okay, get the bike back as well, just in case. Skip the turn. Yes! Ah, shit, he killed them. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Tactical face! <laughs> Great ability, you fuck face! Ow! Leave my troop alone! Oh no, I lost a unit. You will pay for that. One down, two to go. Right, I don't think I can damage those guys, but let's move the assault bike closer. So he's gonna tank some of the damage. Unless I could... No, I can't do any damage. No! Sadly. Okay, can the commander attack them? I don't think so. But this guy can attack them. Okay, you go here, because this is like a perfect defense position for you. And shoot the flying boy. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. Commander can go now here, and he's gonna also help with his rifle. Okay, I've missed. 
Oh, also, another note. Missing in this game does not exactly mean missing. It just means that you didn't hit the target, but there is a chance that you'll be able to damage the target that's standing, let's say, next to it. So let's say if those guys were like standing on the same level and I would miss at this guy, then there's like some chance I could try to hit the other guy, which is very unique if you ask me. There you go. Okay, I've moved all of my units. Yes, I did. Expect for the bike, but yeah, the bike is supposed to just tank the damage. Ow, 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 shit. <laughs> A lot of damage. Yeah, good luck with that, boy. You've missed. Ha! Now my turn. Right, the commander. Okay, you attack the flying bot. Okay, flying bot destroyed. Good. Too bad you didn't fall on that stupid idiot. You damage this guy. It's payback time. Hey, easy mode. Enemy down. Lost one troop. Fuck. They've never stood a chance. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Beep beep. Uh, okay. Come here, Telpless. Now, <laughs> there's a good boy. Thought you have to promise to never run away like that. Just look what you've got us into. Yeah, we lost a squad because of you, you idiot. I swear to God, I'm gonna turn you into our refrigerator. Looking around may actually be worthwhile on this occasion, Lieutenant. Do you remember how all the ships here had been pushed and flagged for our launch day? Now look, now they look like they belong to a museum or at the destruction hangars of Gadrip 10. Actually 20. Almost makes me feel like a living ghost. Ooh. I got myself a new rifle. Okay, take the rewards. Objective completed. There you go. Okay, we need to recruit a new unit back. Okay, so that's good. So this unit, you can go around and actually like develop the the site of the colony. You move your ass back to the main colony for recruitment. I think I can do something with this thing. I can pick it up. Okay. So, you can annex this thing. I just need to... Wait, what I need exactly for this thing? Sector limit reach. Corsibur needs one more colony before this thing can be annexed. Okay. So, with this colony, we get one more colonists, which should happen within... When, when, uh, in the next turn, then I'll be able to annex the port. Now we can actually get into some research. So what exactly would be a good idea to get? Vanguard 19 support station. Combat assist system. Uh, and this thing allow me to get the engineering cops. Would be like probably a good idea to get. Mm, and also we have over here drops a shader bomb onto the battlefield dealing 12 damage and a 1 hex area of effect with a 12 strength. Chances to apply bleeding. To biological and cybernetic units. Yeah, actually this isn't a bad idea since apparently you are wasting, uh, facing some protection drones and maybe some oversized grasshoppers. Or you could try to get the teleportation. So basically the teleportation is once somebody gets damaged. This is a module by the way, so you have to improve your units with this thing. Like It's not like this thing uh, gets applied to every unit. And basically this is how it goes is that if a damage, if you're gonna damage a unit, then you, the unit will just teleport away to hexes. So it's like, yeah, please. Mm, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna go with the defensive one for now. Let's see how it's gonna go. Right, society research. Right, I think going into some colony gains, two happiness slots, uh, two colony slots and gains for happiness income. Yeah, this is will be this will be useful. Get this thing, and we can build something over here. Let's see. Uh, what to focus on? I'm really thinking about getting this food upgrade, you know? For the time being. Because this is the thing with the game. Uh, if you have, let's say, you have a colony that is producing food, then later on you can send the food to other colonies to help them develop. It's not like this food that will be made here is locked for this very own colony. Like, if you're gonna have like a really strong colony, in somewhere behind the front line that's gonna have shitloads of food then you can basically transport that food to a new colony that you have just built or conquered in order to help it develop so from one side I really want to take this thing but then from the other side I don't have any buildings around that could benefit this thing so it's like a waste for me I don't feel like this is a good idea to get this thing I prefer I'm actually gonna go with the uh, with the production bonus 
There you go. And now I can annex the spaceport, so let's do exactly that thing. There you go. Okay, you pick up this thing. Oh, materials, 26. Hey! Sweet. Alright, gonna send this unit... Uh, somewhere over here to investigate this side. This is the corner of the map, so hopefully there's not gonna be anything dangerous over there. You get over here. And we need to train you... A unit. Hold on a second, I need to select the city. Okay, train me a vanguard unit. Produce. And apparently this guy... Army commander. Does he count as an army commander? I don't think so. <laughs> Nobody in the right mind is gonna follow this guy. <laughs> Who the fuck thought this was a good idea in the first place? Uh, oh. Yeah, okay, you're gonna join this army. And I think later on we're gonna try to give you like some more troops. Orders are quiet. I order you to move! Okay, orders are quiet. You're waiting for backup, but then again... Hmm... Okay, I don't feel like going for those guys, but I think we have to. Oh shit, there's a fucking grasshopper over here. I completely forgot about him. Crap. Hmm. I'm thinking about going here, actually. Because there's like a high chance there's gonna be food there. Right. Sending the commander unit over here. Screw you, boys! I'm going this side. End the turn. Okay, these space posts have been annexed. Great. Sending this unit over here. Let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. It's a grasshopper. Okay, this is a bit too much. We need reinforcements. You cannot actually face them in combat. Well, you could try, but I don't think you're gonna win. And then we have those guys over here. Ooh. What in the fuck is this? Paragon unit? Soldier? Why they are standing in this weird-ass void thingy? I think this is a uh, different fraction, probably the main enemy of this map. Okay, let's try to... I uh, cannot fight with this thing yet. Right, we really need to get more troops. Send it back up to the commander immediately. And because this space force is annexed to this colony over here, we can get a special building. Starship Maintenance Bay. Which means that if you're gonna build this thing, and after building this thing, then every new unit that is a me mechanical unit, so let's say like a tank or whatever, he will get basic plus two resistance to all damage. So, yeah. But I don't have... Well, I could try to get those vehicles. At the moment I'm making troops with Vanguard all. What is this thing? It's a scout unit, yeah, light unit. Hmm, assault rifle. 30. And how much damage this thing makes? Laser, 9. And this thing makes assault rifle... 9 and grenades 8 and the uh, and this ve this vehicle is a specialist and he did do 16 but the thing is that he's a specialist so that means it's like good to have one per army but no more that's pointless but if you're gonna research some things I can get the gunship which is a skirmisher which is basically a combat unit this is a flying uh, aircraft and it's a mechanical so we have to go over here All right so let's get th this thing done and Frontenac require the means to protect themselves and a reason to stay. At the very least, it's time to invest in some good old fashioned guns and beer. <laughs> Dollar Smith, Deneb Colony Mayor. I love this thing, this is the best. Uh, right, so we got that thing. Let's see. We could try to get production, food development, energy development, research development. Okay, let's go with the food development for now. Just in case if you're gonna actually find like a like a place to build like a proper farming sector. Okay, you know some move it. This guy can now join with the commander. There you go, he joined it in, so now we can actually like assault those guys. Yeah, it's one squad of troopers, vanguard all, and whatever this thing is. And of course, change of face. Look at this thing. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, those units are moving forward to me. Right, so can I actually use this thing for my own advantage? Yeah, I think I can try to cover here. Yeah, remember that those are Vanguard units as well, so that means they can do Overwatch. But, my Overwatch is better, and also I have grenades that I haven't used yet. Uh, okay, get the commander over here. He's like a really tanky boy, so he can take it. Uh, okay, the, the drone... Okay, the drone's gonna go over here. She's gonna basically go around them. Pause for now. Alright, you guys, get over here. You're gonna help the commander. 
and you... Okay, you go here. And you're gonna basically guard this hole over here that we have. Just in case if they're gonna try to charge in. Okay, the units are moving. Right, few shots. Seriously, the Overwatch did not trigger. Oh, man. I thought that those guys would actually do something. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. Targeting field. I have no idea what that thing is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How do you like my Overwatch, bitch? <laughs> Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> this is why I've put them here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, there. Ow. Operation That's a lot of damage. Ready. That's a lot of damage. Right. You... Out of range, seriously? Okay, you can attack them from here, the flying guy. So we go over here and damage them. Only one? Hmm, can't say that's much. Right, you damage this guy. Ah, shit, my, they're exploding. Enemy eliminated. <laughs> my commander took damage. I'm a terrible leader. <laughs> Blanket, bonus damage. Fuck yeah! Enemy neutralized. Good. Now, you shoot at this guy. Easy mode. No problem, oh boy. <laughs> Pathetic. Enemy eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, we have found some food. Awesome. I really don't like this thing. I really don't like this. This is probably like a different fraction. I, I can smell it already. Uh, okay. Troops are getting created over there, so you're gonna fall back. Get the reinforcements, and we're gonna try to push you over here. Right, is there anything ops ready to prime? Available for priming. Uh, the energy cost of tactical operations is reduced by... Yeah, I don't need this thing for now, so thank you very much. Others required... Wait one turn, don't move an inch. Others required, you go here. I'm gonna regroup with the lieutenant. End of the turn. Okay, those guys are not moving, which is terrifying. Alright, get those guys here, and you're gonna combine with the commander. There you go, good, okay. Get there, move! And as I was guessing, this is a zone that can produce me food. Vital supplies are grown and manufactured here. Grants 10 food to the colony that is linked to. Grants additional 5 food uh, when, the, when in an agriculture exploitation, whatever this thing is. So can I annex this thing? I could technically annex this thing, right? Or can I? Hmm, I don't think so. I think this is actually... It's technically connected, but I don't think it has, like, direct... Con no, wait, there's a bridge over here, so why cannot build anything here? Hold on a minute. I cannot... What? Hmm, apparently I cannot annex this thing to the main colony for now. I wonder why. Hmm, okay, whatever. You go. You guys go over here. Okay, there's a... Metal scrap mining tech. Imperial mining facility. Landmark. Own it unknown. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Ah, they're also sitting here. The Paragon fraction. So, one of my objectives is to actually meet them. I'm guessing that if I'm gonna meet them, there's gonna be like an event triggered. So for now, I'm just gonna avoid them. I want to build the backbone of my economy, and then I want to trigger the thing. So the commander will have to go around, back to the colony, we're gonna try to annex those sectors. Ah, shit. Stop. Hold right there, 50 Regenerates. We call you to have a humidity, and we won't have to put you down like dogs. What is this man, the soldier? This is how you return the crew. This is how the returning crew of a sleeping mission is welcome home those days. Step aside. Let me talk to your superiors. A sleeping mission? Impossible. There are, there are no more ships arriving from the void. Don't lie to me, Ruby Squad, Emerald Squad, Sapphire Squad, you old madman! You know what? I'll let you speak with the Prefect. He'll show you how to deal with traitors. It's hard to believe those wrecked creatures were once proud Star Union citizens. I always felt the Paragon were going too far with the cybernetic enchantments, but this? They aren't even human. And what about calling us renegades? Have the brains gone rotten as well as there is something more to this? Time to talk to the Prefect. Vanguard Center Command will know what is going on. In the meantime, we should keep our eyes open for the commanders of the Ruby, Emerald and Sapphire Squad they mentioned. It could be trouble. Objective complete. Ah, shit, by mistake. 
Find the Vanguard squad leaders. Okay. Rewards. Ooh! Prove your good intentions to the Paragon and reach a peaceful relations with them. To increase relations with the NPC fraction, interact with their armies to receive quests or access their dwellings in a strategic map to make purchases with the, uh, within the facility dwelling shop. Okay, so if I'm gonna change this thing to peace, I'm gonna get their unit, the Paragon Guard. Hey, sweet! I would love to! I just hope I won't screw it over, because normally when it comes to peace treaties, by mistake I pull out my gun and do a headshot, so... Yeah, that's like a thing. Okay, you know what? Let's go around and secure this sector first. I'm just gonna stick to the plan. Message from the Paragon Fraction. What? Implemented snatches. Unit slain. A group of pirates are ripping implants out of the Paragon bodies. Those cowards often target the senseless crowd sleepers, leaving them to die as plebeians. The implants grant us the abilities we need for the resurrection of the Star Union. Follow those, follow those thieves and kill them. Okay. Sure, I'm gonna accept. Wait, that does the army commander. Wait, who the fuck are you? Is this supposed to be the quest? Yeah, Rogue Marauder. Okay, so we have <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> okay, and you have a Biomancer, an army commander. Amazon specialists. Okay, this could be a bit difficult. Should I try to do it? Yeah, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Go over there and deal with them. We got this, boys. No problemo. Okay, in the turn. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, they're moving closer. Those Amazons look scary. Ready. Okay, and then doing Overwatch. Okay, this guy is guarding this sector, so that means he's gonna guarding this thing. If I'm gonna go around, though, he can suck my gigantic balls. And that's exactly the thing I'm gonna do. Go with the bike around. Uh, okay, no point in going through here. And a plenty the Oh, okay, those are explosives, so try to stay away from them. Hmm. Right, I don't think... Yeah, I don't have range to throw the grenade yet. Okay, and those guys are going around, apparently. I could... Tr I think I could try to go through this hole over there. Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. Send those two squads over there. And what's the enemy gonna do? Okay, they are just think. Alright, they're going this way. And the Biomancer is go... <laughs> but now the middle is not guarded. <laughs> I don't think this was actually a good idea from your side, you know? I can damage those guys. Okay, let's see what I can actually... Stop pressing the left arrow button, you idiot! Hmm. If I'm gonna go here, then I'll be able to damage some of them. And I think this is still outside of this squad uh, Overwatch ability. Right, move the bike. Let's see, if I'm gonna move the bike here... Ah, it's Overwatch. Okay, so let's go over here, and I'm gonna basically force those people to turn around. Either they're gonna turn around or, and face the bike, or not face the bike, and I'm just gonna backstab them. But in the meantime, you guys, you get over here, and you have to protect from the Amazon archers, I guess. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fighting with space Amazons. What in the fuck? Those guys are going here, interesting. Okay, they swap it overwatch to this bike. So that means that this site is now clear, to my understanding. But then again, I won't be able to damage anybody. Ah, shit, I have to go over here to damage actually somebody. Same goes for the commander, I guess. Yep! Okay. Now, since I did some research, I can actually launch myself a special uh, operations thingy. Support station, yeah. Hmm, okay, maybe for now I won't use anything of those. Next unit. Okay, you just keep doing Overwatch. Either the Amazon's gonna fall back, so then we're gonna backstab them, or they're gonna just wait there and grab your attention. Either way... Yeah, oh, oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I have no idea, and you just walk instead of my Overwatch. Hey! Why the Overwatch did not trigger? Uh oh. Seriously? <laughs> the Overwatch didn't trigger. What is this bullshit? Well, since you really want to throw grenades, here. That's one. Uh, okay, hold on a second. If I'm gonna go here, grenades. Throw in. Ah, shit, I moved the fucking button by mistake. 
Ugh, me and my fat ass fucking butterfingers. Right, you guys go over here. You have some type of debuff, and I don't really want to know what type of debuff this thing is. Flank it. Okay, you attack this. Now these guys are basically dying. Okay, the robot is, I mean the assault bot is going around. Right, you guys. I don't know why you didn't attack the hunters. So let's fix this thing, shall we? They're gonna kill my squad. No! <laughs> they killed my squad. Unit destroyed. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, great. You've put my unit to sleep. Seriously? Buy arrows. Okay, this army is actually quite dangerous. What the fuck? Okay, big boy. Time to do some magic. Here. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's why you sh you were supposed to cover up your flanks, you idiots. Since I cannot move this unit, oh, that's bullshit. Uh, flank it. Okay, this is gonna kill this unit, so kill it. There we go, thank you. I got some stupid ass blindness abilities. My hit chance is only five percent. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see how this thing is going. So let's see. How are we gonna avoid a fucking grenade? Bitch! Here, catch! <laughs> oh, what? You don't like it? Well, I don't really care. 55. Hmm. Much better. Oh, look! Only one guy remaining. <laughs> ah, great. She healed them. That's not good. You okay, one squad down. Okay, I need to. Alright, you wanted to go personal. That's fine with me, boy. Sure. You done? Good. My turn. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Enemy Dead. Alright, let's finish off those guys as well. I need to relearn myself Enemy how to eliminate. play Age of Wonders. Hey, and I completed the objective for those idiots. Have some. Who trays there in the shadows of my throne hiding like thieves? Come closer into the light. Let me see you first. Uh, okay. My name is Jack, commanding officer of EAS for near secure decathlon system deployed through the A Type 4 cryosleep mission uh, 197 years ago. That being said, with that due all respect, you better have a bloody good reason to treat us like this. <laughs> 197 years, 58 days and 20 arrows to be precise. The frontier seems like a fine ship back then. Congratulations, commander, you have passed. So that is true. The void storms have subdued. This is excellent news. I would invite you to a celebration dinner, but as you must have noticed, we are barely sustaining ourselves. I do owe you an apology, Commander, for you, mu for you must understand the situation. When the planet lost connect to contact to Vanguard Command Center Command, I had no means of supply. Soldiers make uh, soldiers make of bad farmers, and as rations grew short, the tensions within the Vanguard began to boil. They split into different parties. The Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire squad, while Alan's, while Alan's only few remained loyal to the Paragon. Since then, we have been fighting over food, weapons, and resources, laying waste to the planet with an experimental Promethean weaponry. They assaulted anyone and raided all other Paragon command posts. We were desperate, but now, with your arrival and the prospect of rejoining the Union, we can surely put an end to the tragedy. Objective complete. Thank you. Now this sounds like a good ass plan! Right, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope this gives you like a good idea of Age of Wonders, Planet Fall. We will of course continue this thing during the next episode because for now I just noticed that I overdid my recording time like a lot. So I just have to leave this thing as of here. If you want to try the game yourself, uh, depending on when I'm gonna upload it, the game is available or will be available very shortly. So feel free to add it to your wishlist. For now, I'm having a blast. It's just like... Uh, Age of Wonders bot in space, so still like a fucking awesome title. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good place to leave this thing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Please subscribe. Episode. See you all in the next video.